What I want to do today is show you why it's been really important for me to be able to have both a Mac and Windows application on the same screen at the same time and have them interact. And I wanted to use coherence mode for this. This is the coherence mode, which allows a PC window, which I just sized up, let's bring that back down, a PC window uh, to be on the screen right next to a Mac window. And so this is a PC application and I'm running it in a virtual environment. This is Windows 8. And this is uh, a Mac application, which I'm running as well. Now, uh, let me create a new slide here. Uh, new slide, the new slide here. There are a number of features. First off, I'm very familiar with the menu that exists in PowerPoint. I use it a lot. I'm not particularly comfortable with the menu that comes with the PowerPoint Mac version, but more to the point, I use a feature that exists here on uh, the Windows version of PowerPoint that does not exist on the Mac version of PowerPoint, and I use it a lot. So I've just created two shapes, and I'm gonna give these two shapes, I'm selecting both together, uh, I'm gonna give these two shapes an embossed uh, pattern to them. And what I wanna do is I wanna make those patterns merge, and I wanna create, uh, let's just say, a, a a specialty shape that looks like this, and I want that to be one shape. I can come up here to merge and create union, and now I have a shape that is its own unique shape, and I can come back in here, I can change its style or color. You'll notice the gradient continues, the outline selections work. All of these things work and continue to work just perfectly because it's now one unique shape, and I can also scale it up and it remains one unique shape, and the gradient works and everything else. This is very, very important to me in how I work uh, with these sorts of, of systems. And so I use these things constantly. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to use the Windows version. The other reason, of course, is that when we upload these webcasts to the ON24 system, uh, I know for a fact that they specifically support the Windows version of PowerPoint and we don't have problems with it, whereas the Mac version may or may not be supported quite as well. But let's Let's come to the other side of this thing. Let's go over to Bundle Storm here. And I want you to notice, um, I have a pretty large collection of images. I actually have another pile of images that I haven't quite imported yet. But you'll notice that I have 401,000 images in my image catalog, and I use these images constantly. So let's come up here, for example, let's say I wanted to add a Wi-Fi image. Uh, and I can do a quick search, and I've searched for Wi-Fi, and I tell, sometimes these things take a while, so it, it bings. And I can come down here, these are small icons as you can see. These are little tiny images. And I'll come in and I'll look and that's not bad. That's not bad, I like that. Um, let's see what else there might be. This is pretty good. And so I can look at these images and say, all right, well, of these images, I like some of these. And I think in this case, I'm gonna select this image. Oh no, no, I don't like that at all. I'm gonna select this image. And I'm gonna simply, now remember that I am on a Mac window here, and I'm in a virtual machine PC window here, and I'm gonna grab this image and I'm gonna drag it over and drop it here. And as you can see, it is now completely with alpha channel, completely holding transparency, it is now in my Windows presentation. I can then take this and let's, let's say I wanted to use a, a Wi-Fi logo. So let's say I wanted to come in here uh, and I wanted to grab this Wi-Fi logo and I want to come to this and, and although this isn't Wi-Fi, I want to come in here and just drag and drop that. So now I've dragged that into the window. You can see it's there. I can resize it. I can place it in my image and I'm working on the PC now. So that image came out of the Mac and directly onto the PC and is now part of the PC slide. And that's the reason, that's the fundamental reason why I wanted to use this kind of tool was to be able to have these two environments, have this application, which is really quite nice on the Mac. And there's many other applications that I use on the Mac that are unique to the Mac and provide value. And then at the same time, use the PowerPoint that I, I'm, I know and love. I also use, um, well, I don't love PowerPoint, but that I know and live in constantly. I also prefer Outlook on the, the PC and so forth and be able to use that in my environment all in one place. So that's, what, that's the reason. Now what I often do is I, I work off of two monitors. Actually, I work off of four monitors. So I'll often put the images on, um, 
the, the monitor to my right, I'll often put this here. I'll put notes on the monitor that's way off to that side, and I put status information on the stuff that's in the back. But it gives me the kind of information I need to be able to work with these things very easily. That is my primary reason for doing this. 